Sullivan and Kelly Catron and Dr. Phil they all, and Dr. Phil's wife, they were laughing at me. They said, you need mental help because I said, there's three ways to make it in Hollywood. That's if you marry nepotism. No, if you marry a director, if you go through the casting couch, which the Jewish people don't do, or three, you um, you know, you marry a, you know, a director or nepotism. I well, mean, how come, how come like, number one and number three you have to marry a director? Okay, no, no. Marry a director, nepotism, or the casting couch. There's three ways. Oh, okay, okay. Do you um, agree? No, I don't agree. I think there's hard work and there is, then that pays off and, and, that, yeah. and, and that's rewarded. Uh, more than ever in Hollywood, I think I, I think it's a it's a great time to be a woman in Hollywood right now. Do I work hard, Joe, or no? As far as I know, you work very hard, but we try to direct you in, in the right yeah. way here. Because okay, so let's go back to your case. Yes. Josie Goldberg has sued Dr. Phil and Dr. Phil's wife um, because she was on the show, and then okay, she's on the show and in a way that may or may not be covered under the, the SAG agreement. And she's a member of the SAG, Screen Actors Guild. So there's times when you're on a, on a talk show where it could be covered, and there's times when, when, uh, when it's not covered. If it's not covered, it's there, you are there just to talk about yourself no, no. and get some news. If it's covered, it's like you're no. more like uh, there to do a little more entertainment. No, according to the collective bargaining agreement, which I read and went over with the SAG after lawyers, mm -hmm. if you're covered by the agreement, that means that if people know who you are, if you are a celebrity, which I was, when I did Dr. Phil, I was featured on page six, Farmer Wants a Wife. So there's clauses in our collective bargaining okay. agreement. But you you're got, covered. Okay, it may, but that's a gray area uh, that a studio is gonna say, is going to try to say you're not covered, and so they're always that's going to be their position. You're not covered, and so now they don't have to pay you residuals if you're not covered. So that's an argument you have. Yeah, let the courts decide. It's a hard argument to win. Your union has already said it's too hard for us to win. So if you went to court, I think the scared. union is not the, the the final say. If someone owes you money and they got unjustly enriched by your performance, you can sue them and recover the value of your services. So that's kind of what you're doing in small claims court, is you're recovering the value of your services because they, and you, your argument is better than I thought it was because you are, you, they basically turned your performance into a